All right, it's time for another edition of Sundays with Serby. New York Post Sports columnist Steve Serby caught up with former top 100 prospect in MLB and Yankees first baseman Jake Bowers for his weekly Q&A. And now it's time for our weekly chat with Steve, who joins me now. Steve, were you ever a top 100 prospect in anything? Uh, only in my mother's eyes. That's about it. Hey, well, those are good eyes to be a top 100 prospect, and that's for sure. If you can't be a top 100 prospect for your mom, I mean, you should be your number one prospect, but that's, that's good eyes, good company to be in there for sure. No, I think I just, I think I made it, I think I was number 100. I think she <laughs> just got me in there just, just to make the cut, just because I was her oldest born. That's interesting. I want to know who the 99 people were ahead of you. That's what I want to know. I definitely want to know that there. All right, Steve. Bowers, who you talk to, he's bounced around baseball throughout his career. He's been up and down from the minors to the majors. He's now wearing pinstripes. Does he feel like he finally belongs in the major leagues? Yes, he does. It's been a long journey, and he's got two tattoos on his left shoulder on down. One is a koi fish, and he uh, it, it really – uh, sums up his career so far. It's a koi fish will swim upriver and eventually over the waterfall become a dragon. And then he's got a lotus flower which grows under the mud and then blossoms. And that very much sums up Jake Bauer's career starting in 2018. He's been with the Guardians, with the, with the Rays, the Guardians, and the Mariners. And when he was with the Guardians, the poor guy lived a block away from the stadium and would hear the fireworks go off, couldn't go to the stadium because he wasn't a member of the Guardians, and he would take live BP by himself in the low A ballpark. Awful. Well, it was one of the toughest times in his life. Um, he had elicited a, the uh, support of a sports psychologist. His wife, Lauren, helped him a great deal. They're expecting a baby daughter, their first child in November. And, um, it, you know, he's, he's been through the mill, but to, he didn't think he was good enough. And he didn't think he'd ever get another, another chance in the big leagues. But the Yankees flattened out his swing, and here he is playing first base, right field, left field, and he says he doesn't care where they put him. He'll play anywhere to stay. And a big part of his development as Jake Bowers, the human being, more so than Jake Bowers, the baseball player, baseball doesn't define him. But a big part of that was him staying off Twitter, eliminating Twitter. Hmm. And he just got tired of all the negativity. And I can't blame him. And um, Dex, you're, you're on Twitter, right? I am on Twitter. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious, who would you tweet at if you were just a fan? I was just a fan. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not the type to tweet at anybody. I guess it would have to, uh, you know, be somebody I really was a fan of, like uh, actress Sanaa Lathan. I've always loved her since Love and Basketball, so I would probably tweet at Sanaa Lathan just to say hi, just to say hi. That's what, that's what I would do, okay. just to say hi. You wouldn't, you wouldn't tweet at me, would you? Oh, no, I would not tweet at you at all. No, because you're only a 100-ranked prospect. I can't tweet at somebody that low. Can't do that. Well, now, you know what? Now that you insulted me, I'll insult you. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll just tell you, you would have been blocked. Oh, man. How would you block me? How would you have blocked me when I wouldn't even have tweeted at you? I would have figured out a way. I mean, Elon Musk would have helped me with Mr. Musk would have helped me with that. Um, yeah, I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would. All right. So I love that you were able to speak about Bauer's journey, right? And so now he's here with the Yankees and he's had the Yankees experience. And recently, Yankee fans, they haven't been too happy with the team's play. So what does Bowers think of the Bronx faithful and how is he and his teammates dealing with the frustration of the fans right now? Well, he's embracing it all. He's embracing the fans. He's embracing the expectations. He uh, doesn't worry anymore about looking like an idiot in the batter's box. He's at peace with himself. And, you know, when he first got to the Yankees, he asked himself, what am I doing here? But now he knows what he's doing here. And, the, and Aaron Boone appreciates what he's doing there. Um, tough times reveal character. And Bowers believes that these tough times that the Yankees are going through will fortify the bond and reveal their character come crunch time. And as he says, look, 
the World Series is not won in June. It's whoever's the last team standing in October and November. And, uh, you know, he gets a he gets great uh, inspiration from Aaron Judge, even when Aaron Judge is not playing, because he sees how Aaron Judge approaches every at bat and he's trying to pick up tidbits from Judge. And um, he believes that, um, you know, the Yankees will be in play in the fall. Judge gets back healthy. Carlos Rodon, perhaps, makes his Yankees debut, gets over his injury hump. And, um, you know, there isn't a place that Jake Bowers is more grateful to be at than the Bronx with his Yankee teammates. Yeah, I got a huge sense of gratitude from reading your Q&A and hearing you talk about him. He seems like he's really grateful for the opportunity and what he's able to do with the Yankees, and we'll see if the Yankees he's are able to turn things around. Go ahead, Steve. No, I was going to say he's got a, a great swing. He's got a beautiful swing, and uh, uh, credit to the Yankee minor league batting people and their current hitting coach for helping him develop a swing that really is tailor-made for Yankee Stadium. And uh, Jake Bowers is a confident young man now, and good for him. Kudos to him for overcoming what he's had to overcome. He's the koi fish, the lotus flower of the New York Yankees. There you go. Check out Steve Serby's Q&A with Jake Bowers at NewYorkPost.com. It's a really good one for you guys to check out. And uh, tweet at Steve and let him know how much you love it. And hopefully, if you're good enough, he will not block you. Right, Steve? And good to have you back. How was your vacation? My vacation was fantastic. Good to be back with you, Steve. We'll do it again next Sunday. Thank you, man. Anytime. Thanks, Dix.